Mr. Packer YouTube channel. I'm your host Allison, and Christmas and New Year is just around the corner. I'm so happy. And last time we have shown you a video of using the LDS with the LP4. So this time we're going to show you three gifts making using the LDS with the accessories this time. So I will make some gifts for my friends and family members. And let's quickly dive into it. And when I choose to send gifts for my best friends, I usually choose a mug because it's useful and you can customize these on this mug here. So this year, I'm going to just have some holiday related theme engraving on this mug and you can follow my step here so you can get the really good results. And to connect the machine with our router extension, we just need to use this long USB cable here and the short USB cable. And then we just need this protection shield with a fan here. First, you need to attach this protection shield with our laser unit and plug this USB cable in. And second is to use this longer USB cable to connect this laser unit with the rotor extension. And when the blue light is on, it means it is connected successfully. And the third is to use this short USB cable to connect our rotary extension with the electric stand. And as you can see that when it's on, it is connected successfully. Test the diameter of this mark here and as you can see the parameters. First, you need to connect the LDS with our LP4 here. As you can see, when you click it, you can see we have two ways to achieve that. First is to use the USB cable and the second is to use the Bluetooth dongle and today I will still choose the USB cable. And when you click it, the beep sound means that it's already connected. And also you just need to, the second is to open our rotary extension mode and it's in the mode setting, the rotary extension mode open this and the beep sound means that it's already on successfully and now the canvas has turned into a rectangle it means that the road extension is successful and you can upload the picture because I have already downloaded the picture before now I will just upload it here and now I will just turn the picture 90 degrees and someone may ask Allison why would you just turn it and rotate it for 90 degrees now I want to show you here and here is a small tape showing you how to choose the right direction for the road extension when you do the engraving on the mugs as you can see when we do the engraving if you face a laser head and you get this direction and when you finish the engraving the direction on the mug will be like this so this is not the one you desire so actually we need to rotate this 90 degrees so you get the right direction for this mug before we do the preview there is one step more that is to choose the diameter of this mug because we have tested before and actually it's on right corner so you need to roll down and see here so just now we have tested it's 76.4 and you just get the right diameter okay and then you can just choose the settings under we will choose the resolution to be 2k and laser type that's 450 the power to be 100 and the depth that's number 8 is enough okay we will do the preview you can make this blue light stronger, the laser light stronger to see that more clearly. And press this continue button to see the engraving area on this mug. And we go for the next step. As you have already choose the right parameters here and then we will start the engraving. I 
And my sister loves collecting cards when she was young and she kept her hobby till now. So this year, I'm going to make a beautiful engraving card for her. I would like to call this one the magic card because when you do the engraving on this special material, a hidden color will reveal. Let's just get started. And if you like our YouTube live channel, remember to subscribe. First, you need to connect this protecting shield with a laser unit. And plug this USB cable in. And the second is to use a shorter USB cable to connect the slide extension with the electric stand. And the third is to use the USB cable to connect the slide extension with the laser unit and plug it in. And now you can see that it has connected successfully and our slide extension has helped to charge the electric stand as you can see. Now we will use the slide extension to engrave the beautiful card. So first you need to click this mode setting here to open this slide extension mode. And okay, so now it's already connected. And as you can see here, it's already on. And then we will upload the picture we want because I've already downloaded it before. The card, let's open it. Merry Christmas. And you can just customize your picture you want. So adjust it in the middle. And then you can just choose resolution here and our laser type and also the power and depth. And the power that's to be five and depth to be 10. We can adjust it and then we will do the preview. So if you want to make the blue light to be stronger, you can just adjust it to the maximum. And so you can see it very clearly. And if you press the continue button, you can see the engraving area. Then we go for the next step. And as you have just set the power and depth, and we can just start our engraving on this card here. And my niece really loves to have the chocolate. So this year I'm going to make a chocolate candy holder for him. And he can just get it on the Christmas tree to decorate the Christmas tree on the new year. And when you want to engrave on a larger area, I recommend that you use the slide extension. For the engraving area will be 160 and 300 millimeters. So you need to place a paper and then use a clip for the stable engraving. So first, when we see the canvas here, we will just upload a picture of the candy holder. So it's here, very cute one. So when we do the cutting of the candy holder, we will choose the right power and depth here. And then we will choose the power to be 50 and the depth to be 60. And we will preview here. As you can see here, if you want to make the blue light stronger, you can adjust this to make you see clearly. And then you can go for the continue button to see the engraving area. And then we can go for the next step here. As you can see that we have the power and depth and the frequency here, so we can just go for the one directly. And here is my preparation for my family members, for the beautiful mugs, and the very cute chocolate candy holder and also the very beautiful card engraving. So I'm very looking forward for the coming new year and I wish all of you 
Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! I'm looking forward to see all of you in 2024. And if you like our YouTube live channel, remember to subscribe to our YouTube live channel. In the coming days, we will be having more tutorials about the machines and all the tutorials. So see you next time. Bye bye.